Uh, actually, as for me, uh, since I was a child, first there, were, there was no sunscreen. Mm -hmm. So we never knew about sunscreen. Mm -hmm. And actually sunscreen has just come the other year. And you, mm -hmm. you, when you look at persons with albinism mm -hmm. uh, who are born like uh, 20 years back and those who are born right now, they, are, they have that different, we have that skin color different because mm -hmm. of that protection. And you know, our parents didn't know how to take care of us. We would go to the chamber like any other person. We would just fetch firewood and water like any other person. They, there was no that caring like you have albinism so we will take care of you but we thank god because we have passed through that and we are who we are up to date and now uh, we are trying now to educate other young parents of children with albinism mm -hmm. to take care of their children and know how to uh, take care of them mm -hmm. uh, you have asked uh, about what other measures that yes, I that took. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I myself, I didn't t uh, take any measure mm -hmm. because of that uh, lack of awareness. Mm -hmm. But we do advise right now, anywhere a person with albinism works, if he or she has an umbrella, he can also put, put mm -hmm. it on mm -hmm. because it also helps to protect that, uh, that uh, sun. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I can say that through that we have seen uh, people not getting uh, skin cancer mm -hmm. because as you, all know, as you all know that skin cancer is a deadly disease uh, mm -hmm. to a person with albinism. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for these uh, remarks. We